Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Joplin server on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS, the third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, Go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, to, uh, this is what will be installed today. Um, I will be installing the Joplin server, which this makes it to where you can run your own server and synchronize your notes between your home lab uh, servers and your computer. Um... Joplin is an excellent open source note taking application with plenty of features. You can take notes, make to do list, and sync your notes across devices by linking a cloud service or today we'll be linking a, a Joplin server. This is in beta, but it's worked good for me so far. This is what it looks like, and it's a really nice note taking app. So, mu mu multimedia notes, uh, images, videos, PDFs, audio files. So, that's what will be installed today. So, we're going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. This is what we will use to uh, install the Joplin server on Cost OS. This is a third-party app store that's supported by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, it has quite a few apps now. And um, I, I did make a how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS video, but I'm going to be going over in this video as well. The custom app store is only supported on Cost OS version 0.4.4 or newer. So I'm going to scroll up to the app store URL right here. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my Cost OS and get this setup installed. So now we're going to start on our Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store. I'm going to go over here to More Apps button. I'm going to click it. Then text input pops out. I'm going to paste in the URL that I copied over in Big Bird Cost OS, the app store URL. Now I'm going to press Add. Now we have 170 apps available. So if you want to see it over here in the categories, you're going to refresh the page, go back into the app store, go to categories, go to Big Bear Cost OS, and now you can see all the, uh, the apps from Big Bear Cost OS that are available. So we got it set up and installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now we're going to uh, start on our Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store, then Search. I'm going to type Jop. So, now you'll see Joplin right here. You know it's coming from Big Bear Cost OS because of this down here. It shows the category. So, I'm going to go into it. I'm going to press Install. Now, you can go read the form post. But I'm going to be going over in this video as well. So now I'm going to be next steps right now. So I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to continue in background. So what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, getting them up with Docker Compose underneath. And this does use the Docker engine to run. It's also setting up the volumes, the networks, different things like that. So this can take a little bit to actually uh, get done. So now we got it up and running and it's installed. So now if you go and you click uh, and you open in the UI, you'll, you'll see invalid origin. So we're gonna need to copy this and then go, go back, go up here to the top right vertical dots, set uh, settings. And then we're gonna come down here to the app base URL right here. I'm going to paste in what I just copied and then once that's done, I'm going to press save. So now when it reloads, we're going to go back in the open. It's going to say connection can't be reached because it's not up yet. I'm going to go in back into it. So now we have it up and running. So now I'm going to go over the app settings. So if you go up these top uh, vertical dots and you click it, you can open in the web UI. You can set some tips. And a tip's already been set from Big Bear Cost OS. But if you go into it and you change it, you can press save. 
it'll reload the container and say Joplin is okay. Um, you, you can go into set, uh, settings and change this service, or you can change the database service. You can also go into ter terminal logs, and there we go. You're inside the container. Then you can see the logs, great for debugging. Uh, you can export the doc, uh, Docker Compose right here. You can exit out of here. You can check for updates, and then you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now we're going to go into the UI. So you can open from here, or you can go up the vertical dots and open from here. So now the default email is admin at localhost. And then the password is admin and then login. So now we are using the default admin password and it's insecure. So you can ch uh, change it if you'd like right here. Um, now you will need to download the Joplin application right here. And, um, and then you'll need to go in the settings and then synchronization. And then you will put the, uh, the URL is this, and then you'll put your username and password or whatever you change it to on the password here. You can go over to items and see what's uh, being synced. You can go into admin and you can add a, a users and then um, you can add a user right here. There we go. And you can also see user deletions, uh, the task and the emails. Uh, you can also go, go over here to uh, your profile and get to where you can change that, that password and you can change the email too. So that's a little bit about the Joplin server UI. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting Joplin server running on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS, a third-party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.